my kind friends and folks. Now the 50th staging of the Carifta Games in ba the Bahamas has turned out to be a lesson in how not to stage a major track and field event. Now the blunders and the obvious biases has turned out to be the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, it's the never ending series. It's like a bold and beautiful or young and the restless that just goes on and on and on. What about the St. Kitts athlete who had to run all alone? How, how did that happen? Because I don't think I've ever seen that in Carifta Games history. Uh, but it, it, it's the, the timing officials missed out on him. He, there was another athlete who did not qualify for the finals and his name was down on the start list. The coach from, it was the athlete from Martinique, the coach came in and indicated that his athlete did not deserve to be in that spot and he would, um, um, and did not earn that spot. So we then uh, um, reported it to the timing officials who went through their uh, um, 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 photo finishes and it was found that uh, he didn't know he did not earn the spot in the finals and it was the St. Kitts athlete that earned the spot. Now you're watching the interview of the meet director after the conclusion of the Carifta Games. He talks about the reason Mr. Jalen Bennett was let was left out of the 100 the 200 meter finals. The reason Mr. Bennett was left out of the 200 meter finals, according to his reports, he stated that another athlete from Martinique was was placed on the final list instead of Jalen um, Bennett from Saint Kitts and Nevis. Now, as you're seeing in this graphic, Mr. Bennett. Was, was replaced on the final list by an athlete actually from St. Martin. The letters you're seeing there are the letters for St. Martin and not Martinique. And so he says after um, the coach from that country came and said, oh, my athlete did not qualify for the finals. That is only then and only then did they, did they go back to the tapes and recognize that it's indeed Jalen that qualified for the finals. Not seeing lane two. That's where Van der Veer Stand behind your blocks. of St. Martin, I think, should have been. Now, my question is this, Mr. Um, Meet Director. I'm looking at the semifinals, the final list of the semifinalists, and the gentleman from St. Martin, his time was 21.94. You said that Jalen came in with the slowest time, but placed fourth. Uh, he had the slowest time coming, uh, qualifying for the finals, and he ended up with, after his run with a fourth place finish, uh, an official time of, uh, um, at the Carifta Games. Now, Mr. De, De Vere from St. Martin, his time was 21.94. Are you saying the 21.94 is correct, but the name was wrong because you said that his name was left off? Now, doesn't that mean then that the 21.94 with the big Q was Jalen's time and not the 22.30? Or is that entire line up there beside with Mr. De Vere, that entire line incorrect? Would, which would point to more incompetence than we think has happened here. And if so, where did that 2194 come from? Who, who put that there? What tiny timing system put that in place? Um, so Jalen came in with either 2194 or 2230. Now you said that his name was left off and that you got the, the timing officials erred in not contacting him and letting him know that he had made the finals. But contrary to that, there are reports that Jalen did report to the call room for the finals and was turned away because his name was not on the list. The issues were not with the Jamaican team. The issues were right across the board. You mentioned in the earlier segment, the 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 kid the Saint Kitts and Nevis. On yes. the yes. Saint Kitts. I mean, the, the athlete actually reported to the call room um, and was denied access. Um, and and therefore he was not allowed to run because his name was not on the start. So, you know, the events as outlined uh, by Mr. Charlton is not really what happened. He actually showed up. Mr. Meet Director, which is true? Did he, did you not inform him or did he actually turn up and was turned away? And so 
these blunders, these errors, these things that are looking like latent biases, it's a very negative look, sir. I'm just saying. Now, moving on, the technical director from Jamaica, he pointed out that when the athlete from Jamaica, Mr. Nkume, got injured in the first run of the 100 meter, that the crowd cheered and that the Bahamian athletes in the hotel lobby watching on the television also cheered. How did the athletes feel in the aftermath of, of, of these things happening to them? Because even at the end, we were told that they weren't even able, able to, to enjoy the victory of another curve of the game. So how did they feel? Well, the athletes are a bit um, turned off from some of the events. Some, some of them were, were um, based on not necessarily the officials, but based on just the general um, feelings that they experienced from, from some of the other athletes and some of the spectators. The athletes were provoked um, with the, based on the response um, when Bouaji went down. I think there were instances where persons were cheering when the athlete went down. And the athletes were a bit, um, you know, disappointed. And, and they, you know, it took, it took them a while to recover from that experience. Um, so I, I, I would think that it came from that. So you're saying on, on day one when Boaje in Krume, after his 9.99 clocking at the high school championships in Jamaica the week before, went down injured, the Bahamian fans cheered? Fans, athletes, I mean, the athletes were watching the race in the hotel lobby and a very disappointing response from the, the Bahamian team uh, in the hotel. Mm. Could somebody speak to that for me? Um, is this what good hosting looks like? Is this what being a gracious host looks like? Now, are these um, reports erroneous? And according to the reports, this is why the Jamaican athletes were so embroiled in cranking out fast times and silencing the crowd, as they put it, because they were um, riled up by these looks of ingracious hosting. It looks bad. It's a bad picture. Let's move on to the fact that Shaquane Gordon was disqualified hours after the 110 meter hurdles for men was run. There was video evidence apparently of his false start. Now listen to this story. The Bahamians lodged a protest that Prince should have been disqualified because he false started. The appeal board, the appeal group, whatever they're called, they upheld that complaint. So it was brought to the Jamaicans. And the Jamaicans said, no, according to this video evidence, he did not fall start. And that's when the Bahamian said, oh, oh, no, no, not that Jamaican athlete. The other one, who would be Shaquane Gordon, fall started. According to the video evidence, I looked at that YouTube video in minuscule details. That young man got up last in that race that went off in which he, he, he got the bronze medal. He got up last. Now, miraculously, there is no printout of the reaction times for this race. Additionally, the semifinals of the 100 meters in which DeAndre Daly was disqualified. The technical director for the Jamaican team said he has requested the printout of the reaction times of that race and the Carifter games have ended and still no such printout was given to the Jamaican team. Nobody can find it. Another thing that went lost that went up as mist into the air in Bahamas during these, uh, this meet is the video evidence of what happened with the Bahamian athlete in the 4x100 meter for the under 20 boys. When the protest was lodged by the Bahamian team, I'm sorry, by the Barbadian team, the appeals committee went to look at the video of his start 
that video does not exist anywhere. They had to resort to the YouTube video of the, of the beginning of the race, which did race, which did not give a clear indication whether or not he false started. Mr. Meat Director on Sportsmax said, the young man did not false start because his hands didn't leave the track and his feet didn't leave the blocks. Mr. Meat Director, where is the evidence of that? Did you see evidence of that? Because nobody else saw evidence of that. Other team officials complained about not having, having enough Wi-Fi to see the results, the preliminary results to know where their athlete had placed. These things are looking ominous, bad, a bad picture, a bad play from a bad playbook. These things not being available to these are simple, basic, fundamental things that should be available to everyone so that good decisions can be made for these young athletes. Moving on, I noticed a little thing and um, I want to show you this video of a meet official moving the number board on the long jump during the long jump. Now. I don't know. I'm not an expert at the long jump. Third competitor in the order. St. Hilaire of Guadeloupe. Maybe a coach can correct me, but I know that the measuring of the jump when the Bahamians don their tape measure, the measuring of the jump will not be affected by where the number board is. But I know that if I'm an athlete jumping in the long jump, I want to see, I want to see the numbers in their correct place so I can visualize in my mind what I want to jump, where I want to land and where I land will indicate to me how far I've jumped. So if after, by the evidence I just showed you, two athletes had jumped, and by the way, this is in the middle of the long jump for the heptathletes, the young ladies they, who were doing the heptathlon, um, in the middle of it, you walk up to this board and you just shifted it down. No measurement done. Now this pit is nine meters long, but the nine meter is not anywhere near the end of that pit. And she just shuffled it down like a curtain out of place or a, some kind of thing, prop that was out of place. Do we not measure these things before we put them down or before we adjust them or move them? Is that just how it's done willy-nilly? I'm not sure, I could be wrong. Another atrocity was the fact that the Bahamian swim team was made to celebrate where the track and field athletes should have been recognized. I am positive that in Curacao, where the swim competition was held, the Bahamians were given ample time to celebrate their overall victory. But after the four by fours were run and all four by four teams that participated that came in first second and third when they were supposed to be given the opportunity to celebrate their work the bahamian swim team was invited onto the track to celebrate their work that was done in curacao um at that point it's normally announced who topped the tables for this track and field meet that was not done. Um, the teams were not given the chance to celebrate what they did on that track. But the Bahamians were given all the time to celebrate what they were celebrating. Again, bad hosts. Ingracious hosting. Now, Mr. Meat Director, um, a part of your interview, you said that there would be a, an autopsy on all that happened at the Curifta Games. And sir, there was a there were incidents, accidents, biases, all kinds of things for you guys to be talking about. And I imagine that beating is going to be really long and this autopsy is going to take a minute. Sir, we're looking forward to these findings and what will be done after the findings. So my friends, if and when they come back with the findings and what they're proposing to do about the findings, come back to the video 
this video and leave a comment let me know what you, your thoughts on are on their findings as opposed to what we've said in these videos thank you for joining us we it was a pleasure just reporting on these issues um, it was a pleasure to see them it was just my pleasure to bring these out there so that we can all be enlightened about what's happening around us. If you have any topics that you'd like us to talk about, leave it in the comment section. And you can also email us. Our email address is in the description box below. All the videos we've used, all the videos we've referenced are in the description box. You could go watch them if you so like. Like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you haven't already, hit the notification bell. Until next time, guys, I can't wait to hear from you. God bless you. Bye, 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 bye.